Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how to do a simple verify user login system using Python. So what do I mean by a simple verify user login system? Well, basically, we can supply Python with a username, a password, and a file. And if the password, if the username exists and the password belongs to that username, we return a true. Otherwise, we return a false. It's a really super simple login system for like your coursework. So let's get right into it. So firstly, uh, if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project and click open folder in File Explorer. This is going to be different for other IDEs. And this is where your Python project is. And I'm going to be putting my data.txt file in here. You can use other formats like CSV, .dat, and others. I'm using .txt to keep it simple. You can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. But if we open it, we've got some username and passwords. And basically, we've got a username, a password, then a new line, username, password, new line, username, password, new line, username, password, new line. That's what we've got in this setup. Make sure there's a new line after your last record otherwise this won't work click the eye open for corner to how to write to a file in python and that will make sure you've got the right data set up so let's get into how we're going to do this so firstly we need to do def verify login username password file path so for username that's the username we're going to try password is the password we're going to try file path is the file that will have this data in it and this is a tutorial on how we can do the login system, not how to get user input. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how to get user input using Python. Very quick, very short tutorial that will work perfectly with this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a try accept statement. And in the exception, we're going to print out the exception with print exception. Basically, we're going to try some code. If something goes wrong, execute what's in the accept, and then we can carry on like normal without the program crashing. And then inside this try statement, we're going to firstly do password equals password plus new line. So basically, in this type of file, we have a field, comma, field, new line. And that new line is represented with the new line character, which is slash n. And basically, if we want to compare our passwords to the last field of a record in this file, which is the password, there would never be a match because it will be comparing the password to the password plus new line. So we need to put a new line here just to make the comparison work. So if there is a match, there, it records it as being a match. Which is why I said before, make sure there's a new line for every record. Also, I'm going to segue into click the eye up in the corner to watch our how to read a record from a file using Python, as this is very similar. You don't need to watch it. Now we're going to do all of this code, and don't worry, this is going to make sense. So we do with open file path, comma, r as file. So this line of code is going to be creating a file object that we can read from. And then we can read from the file that we specify here with the file path. And we use a with statement so we don't have to worry about closing the file once we're done with it. The catch being, all code using this file has to be in this with statement, which is fine. And file is obviously the object we can interact with. And then what we do is we can do lines equals file.readlines. We are reading everything from the file and putting it into this array where each line has its own element in the array. We could also call a line a record. Then we can loop through each element of this array or each record in this file or each line in this file, whatever you want to call it. We can do four line in lines and then we can do fields equals line dot split comma. So now we are creating an array to store each field of a record or a line so we can easily interact with each one. And the dot split is handy because we can just pass in our delimiter. In this tutorial, we're using commas, but you can use whatever you want. Just make sure the, the data you're going to work with won't contain the delimiter. Then we can do if field zero equals username and fields one equals password return true. So basically we're checking if the username and password match. 
So we're checking if field0 is equal to the username and field1 is equal to the password. Both need to be equal to get a true. Because let's say you put in the username in the password slot and the password in the username slot and they were correct, but you put them in the wrong order, well, you're not going to be able to log in, like with any website. Or let's say you put the username for one user, but the password for another user. Yeah, you're not going to be able to log in. Or what if you just put random stuff in both and it doesn't exist in the file at all? Well, you're not going to log in. But if you get the username and password correct, then you do log in. And then you're asked to do a capacha that's almost impossible for a human to do, but a robot can do easily. But we won't do that. So we return true here because if we found the match, there's no point searching the rest of the file because we found the match already. So after we do our accept, we actually do a return false. Make sure it's not in the exception. We want to return a false if we can't find anything here or we do an exception because we couldn't find the record. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So be sure to save your work. And we're going to be doing I am Superman and password 123 and we're going to see if there's a match. It says true because there is a match. If we look at the file, that's a username and password. Now we're going to do cakeman and 123. It's also good practice to make sure your file is closed before you read it. So save your work and then hit play. And it says true because 123 and Cakeman was a password and username. But what if we did 123 and Cakeman and then hit play? Well, it's false because we got the username and passwords correct. Not We didn't get them correct in the correct order. Now let's just do blah and blah and then hit play. Yeah, neither of those are in the file. So that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like in the comments if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.